Can you be my idol? I don't know. Which way do you want to go? I'll go you go that way, I'll go this way. He's <laughs> scared to get lost. Goes the same anyway. Yeah. Nice. Oh, run away from me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure. What's the uh, the aim and the objective? Yay! Oh, plane, plane, plane. Oh, gosh. Not very well hidden. No idea. Any ideas? <laughs> Any idea? So I think if we go down here, along there, we've been under that, haven't we? Hmm. Two minutes maybe, and another plane came. So we need to find a way to the, the bridge for the next one. I love planes. Stay in here. Yeah. Get to that one. <laughs> I think we can get to that one. Yeah. How the hell did you get to that? I can't see I can't squeeze through there. You can. Just waiting for another plane to come in. Uh, look on your app how long before another plane comes. It's a good idea, actually. Yeah. Sophie's a clever girl. She is very. And check on the plane, not that one, that one. Plane radar app to see when there's another plane due to come. Okay. Should be a plane from there. Ryanair. Oh, there we go. Ryanair. Eggplants. Poached eggplants. Yeah. Mm, yummy. Oh my god. That looks delicious. No, it doesn't. These are weird pumpkins, aren't they? It's like a rock. Who's throwing that at somebody? That looks so weird. Oh my god, that feels so weird. It's quite wet inside. Feels like it was trying to eat me. It's like a big. It smells like leather. Swiss chard. Tastes like Pringles. Are you inside? It's very strong.
That's gonna become my that's a coin for your witches. Just walk paper. Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's all yeah, black wood from the fire. So when this house was built, yeah. that was the first room that was built onto part of the old manor house, you know, the little alcove. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that was built in 1530. And then this room was built in about 1531. Right. And then they continued to do, build down there, down there, and then the front bit, and it was finished at the end of the 1500s, 1595, I think it was. So it was all built in about 16 years. Yeah. But this room was like the main sitting room for them. Mm -hmm. And there's a frieze over the top here, and they're the only. Not very much, but we've got no pictures of the Norris family who actually built this property. Mm -hmm. And this is the only depiction we've got of them. Right. And you've got Henry Norris at the end with his wife and his five children, and then William Norris is the one who did, started all the building and his first wife and his second wife. And he had 19 children. Wow. So I think that explains probably why he wanted to build on his own. But it was also quite well known down in London, so it's probably had to move forward, you know, to the big yeah. house, didn't it? And then Edward Norris and his wife, Margaret Norris, were the ones who finished the front. And as you walk round, you might see EN or MN. And that's the little symbols of the. I think I saw it on the brick by when the When you came in the yeah, front. Yeah, so you got them two. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I was just telling you once how, like, how stonemasons used to mark them. Yes. For yeah. payments. And I was saying, like, look yeah. out for any bricks like that. And then yeah. I saw the E. So it makes sense, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, if, have you been in the courtyard? Yeah, yeah. Um, did anybody point out the wood? How it's got the mark. No it's it's like two different markings, you know, yeah. a marking yeah, yeah. next to each other. So you can see it's either where they've had to marry them up or it's the marking from the the guy who's built it, yeah. And, That's why she chose it because she could look out through the window and check what everybody was doing or not doing. She married very well because uh, she was the second rich, richest lady in the country after the Queen. Right. Uh, I get you. Oh. And I was through marriage. Through marriage, yeah. Through marriage, yeah. She was absolutely loaded. Yeah. <laughs> I went home somewhere then. So this staircase takes you up to the priest's hiding area. A priest hall is a hiding place for a priest built into many of the principal Catholic houses of England, Wales and Ireland during the period when Catholics were persecuted by law. When Queen Elizabeth I came to the throne in 1558, there were several Catholic plots designed to remove her and severe measures were taken against Catholic priests. Many great houses had a priest hall built so that the presence of a priest could be concealed when searches were made of the building. They were concealed in walls, underfloors and other locations and were often successful in concealing their occupant.
The decision to do media conservation on this object was based on its fragility. With one of the features that we couldn't access easily, uh, which meant that it was quite difficult to clean and care for it. When we removed the JVAM from storage, the move itself was relatively straightforward, but before we even touched that object, we did a lot of consulting with our conservator, our curator, and various other people to ensure that that move went as smoothly as possible. I'm a specialist leather conservator. I've uh, worked for the National Trust for many, many years. I've been asked to come down and work on a shade line. 